CBS 46 in your town, and this week we are in Duluth. You know, no matter where you live or work, transportation always a big issue from traffic to the airport to MARTA. You know, Atlanta's always been a, a really big transit hub, but today we're rewinding the clocks just a little bit, taking you back in time, talking about the trains long before MARTA and why they're so important to Atlanta's development. CBS 46's Adam Harding's live at the Southeastern Railway Museum to show us just why. Did you learn a little something this morning, Adam? Yeah, I did. And I'll tell you, these trains are a lot bigger and a lot cooler than the ones that we typically see on any given day throughout the city. This is, of course, one of many trains on display here at the Southeastern Railway Express. You can come on board. You can see what life was like hundreds of years ago. In fact, some of these trains, as our talented photographer navigates these narrow, narrow hallways backwards. That's Richard on the camera right there. And he loves this place, as does his son Eli, who's big into trains, as Richard keeps hitting the walls behind him. This is just a taste of what it was like hundreds of years ago. This was the way people traveled, and this is one of the town cars that you can actually come into and see for yourself, as so many choose to do. And we got a behind the scenes peek at what makes these trains so special to Atlanta's history. All aboard. John, I'm going to take the train after all. Ken Birmingham's our conductor at the Southeastern Railway Museum. I ask the little kids that they like railroads, and when they say yes, I say me too. <laughs> It is a real trip back through time. We are a 35 acre museum. You can put about 200 of these boxes on a train. Today, students from Gainesville are on a class assignment, getting a sneak peek into yesteryear. We have some historic pieces. We have the Superb, which was uh, Warren G. Harding's car that he used on his Voyage of Understanding tour through America. But I have a confidence in our America. This is American history. We have engines that have been in movies. <laughs> like uh, Fried Green Tomatoes. And Atlanta's history up close. The railroads are really important to the state. And because of all that we produce, things get moved around the state and around the country through the railroads. If it wasn't for the railroad, we wouldn't have Atlanta. How long have you guys loved trains? Uh, I guess since I was born. So forever? Yeah. Twins Sam forever. and Joe are celebrating their birthday here. There's just something about these old timey trains that captures their excitement. What about trains are so cool for you? The loud noise. You like the loud noise? They're yeah. not too loud? Nope. I think they're pretty loud. <laughs> In our fast-paced everyday lives, isn't it nice to just slow down a bit and enjoy the ride? Well, that's the goal here, one track at a time. So a lot of fun riding on these trains and getting a sneak peek at what it looked like hundreds of years ago as the city was coming to be and really without the trains we would not have the city of Atlanta so it really puts into perspective sometimes the headaches that we get when we are constantly traveling in this city I don't have to tell you how bad traffic can be around here it's just nice and relaxing out here so coming up in our next hour maybe we'll pick a train that's a little bit easier for Richard to navigate through where the <laughs> hallways aren't quite as narrow but Tracy and Gravier, we encourage everyone to come up here and explore what makes this city so great. And this, of course, is one of the highlight, the mm -hmm. must-do things if you come to Duluth. Yeah. I love it. That's um, very cool. I know. Absolutely. Would love to go up there and check that out. Yeah, you know, they, those hallways weren't built for someone with a camera on their shoulders. Exactly. So that's why. I don't like getting stuck. That's true. Right. That's true. Or walking backwards. Or, right. You know, none of that. You know. That's right. And I think people were smaller back then, too, actually. All right, Adam, thank you. Thanks.